Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mortal Kombat 1 Online, the series where I attempt to eventually cover every single character on the roster, take them online, try them out in practice mode, figure out what's good, what's not so good about each character, show you some cameos and combos, and yeah, just go online and have fun with each character. Well, the ones I like, at least, there are gonna be some that are not gonna be a lot of fun but that's just a personal thing but I gotta say today is going to be a fun episode because we are checking out Nitara the worst voice acted character on the entire roster but I think she does have some sauce um, it's important to distinguish and mention that many of the sort of higher level player the professional players of MK1 think that Nitara is fairly low tier but I want to make the distinction that, you know, most people don't play at that level. And I think unless you're like, you know, going to the tournaments and you're like at the absolute top of your game, uh, tier lists don't matter that much. And the Nitara does have quite a lot of things going for her. She also has some glaring weaknesses, but, you know, a lot of the cast has that, which we will cover. But now let's go into what makes this character good. Number one thing is, of course, her damage. Nitara has some basic-ass dialing combos, like really, really easy to pull off combos, and all of these combos can lead to the high 300s to 400s damage-wise. Just, let's just look at, this is kind of her main string. It's one to one two. This is a meterless launcher. You just do this, go into an air string, air special, rinse and repeat, and you get 391. This is such an easy combo. You literally just have to memorize like three inputs and you're good to go. And essentially she can get this off of anything. I mean her damage. So she can do this grounded if you want to be a little bit, you know, less committal. And even this easily breaks 300. Um, she has some overheads and lows. This is definitely a character that focuses on overheads. So my suggestion is if you're fighting Natara and having trouble, uh, just try to block overhead. Now, I will show you some ways to get around that. Um, get around her weakness of the fact that she mainly relies on overheads. And this is basically her main low. Uh, this is her sweep. Two hits. By the way, gotta mention, this is pretty good at breaking armor, because uh, it goes out fairly fast. Uh, and she can cancel the first hit into special moves, so she can get damage. But uh, I think you can see my cameo choice, which we'll get into. Uh, I'll show you some ways of making this low actually really good. But yeah, she also has this string, forward advancing mid. Uh, this actually has some like deceptive range on it, so go for this quite often. It's fast. The only thing that's kind of a shame about it is while it's safe, it's only two hits. So you can just basically like go for this. Uh, I do wish this had one more hit, like it was Ford 112, but it's not, so that's what we have. She also has this move. This is her main overhead. Now, this is reactable. I'm not gonna like lie to you but it's fairly difficult to react to. Uh, you do have to be sharp. Uh, that's why I'm saying like most of the time you should be blocking against uh, this character overhead because you can like take a lot of these and one of these, if you're willing to spend two meters, i um, just gonna just take a look at this damage. Just take a look at this damage. It's, it's 450 for basically nothing. So this overhead is fairly dangerous. Uh, she also has this dive kick. This dive kick is pretty good. You can do it very low off of the ground. It's fairly fast. Now, like any dive kick, it's mega unsafe, but um, you go for this anytime and it's going to lead into big boy damage. And you can do the classic of jumping back and then going for the dive kick. So she has really good mobility in the air. Speaking of mobility in the air, that's like one of her other main strengths. Uh, she has this flight which you can do with L2 and the directionals. This makes her just like crazy good at closing in distance. Now do be careful that uh, if you want to do two of these, uh, two flights, it will cost one bar. Uh, but most of the time you can just like get away with this. So 
she is very difficult to zone out and she's a little bit tricky in that you know you can like go in and then like go for uh you know like an overhead and jump away if the opponent blocks or if you're jumping in and you see them winding up for an uppercut you can just jump away or fly away and then go back you know you can be very tricky with your flight so you can like do this you know bait out the uppercut and then you know punish your opponent for a lot of damage so she does have very very good mobility now Natara doesn't have a traditional projectile but she does have this move uh, God, what's the input uh, hold on so she does this and yeah she does have a projectile if you buff up now we're soon gonna get into our weaknesses but I do not <laughs> recommend going for this at all this is um, the, you probably see the reason why it takes 50 HP from her and yeah we'll cover that in the weaknesses section but what is worth going for is the EX version of this the EX version of this move gives her an aura which drains life from your opponent and gives life to Natara so Essentially, this character is one of the best chip out characters in the game. If your opponent is low on health, you knock them down, you go for this, you start pressuring them, there's nothing you can do. It's like the Kotal Sun in uh, previous MKs, but even better because this is an aura that sticks around on Natara. Now, you can of course use this buff and you can deal even more damage. Uh, you can even like m like increase your combo damage further and you have the benefit of um, actually healing yourself so like I said I don't recommend going for the non EX version of this move that projectile is not worth it but this version of the move is actually very good so yeah if your opponent is like low really low on life you can like really put them into an impossible situation so yeah, you can see how, kind of how this character works. She is absolutely a glass cannon. She's meant to deal a ton of damage and then have pretty bad defense because let's transition into her weaknesses because she has quite a few. Yeah, number one weakness with Nitara is her defense. Uh, first things first, she doesn't really have a really good pressure string. Um, her pokes are fairly terrible. Um, none of the pokes she has are like really good with like the range or have any sort of like special properties this is the pro like probably the best one i would go for uh but yeah her poke game is fairly weak her uppercut isn't the best despite how it looks she also has a terrible wake up this is her main wake up this little blood split uh it has one hit of armor but it just has awful range it just has terrible range I think terrible frame data as well. Yeah, negative 22. Yeah, she has one of the shittiest wake-ups in the game. No cameo allows her to do anything from the wake-up. So yeah, one of the worst wake-up games in this game. Maybe aside from like Havoc or someone. Next up, she has extremely low HP. Um, she is, I think, the lowest base HP character on the roster so you really do need to be careful with your cameo choices her sort of game plan is actually quite limited with the cameo choices she can take because anything that takes away HP like Motaro, Goro, all that is just going to handicap you completely like even now this is 950 and I get 950 with Serena who's a cameo that gives you HP if you go for anything lower you're basically going to be dead in two touches from even like the weaker characters. Even now with this character, you fight against the Baraka, you get hit like two times and you're basically dead. So she, her low HP limits her quite a lot. I know what they were going for with this character. She's meant to be like a Kami type from Street Fighter, you know, that she has like really good moves, good damage, but low HP. However, the next issue is she is actually quite limited in terms of her strings. I'd already mentioned that she doesn't have a good pressure string. Essentially, the only thing she has going for are overheads and lows. So she doesn't really have something consistent aside from this to pressure the opponent with. She doesn't have a lot of good like uh, sort, of, sort of forward advancing moves. This is a trick. A lot of her moves are highs. 
Uh, so she can basically do this and do this. This move is extremely unsafe. This move is extremely unsafe. Uh, this move isn't unsafe, but the second hit is a high, so opponents can uppercut it. So essentially she has a lot of highs, a lot of gaps, and just not a lot of good ways to pressure. If your opponent knows how to block against her and react to this, because like I said, this is reactable, she is going to really struggle with opening people up. Now, that gets us to the next topic, which is cameos. Um, this is one of the cameos, and I hate her. I normally hate her because she's everywhere, but I think for Natara, Serena really is the best pick. Easily the best pick. First things first, I already mentioned you get extra HP with Serena, so that's already really good. And I know you can get extra HP with characters like Jax, but Serena in particular synergizes very well with Natara's moveset. Mainly because of this. You can now turn your low, which like I said is good and is comboable, uh, but you can turn it with Serena into an extremely high damaging uh, little combo string. Normally, like I said, you can go for this, but again, this is unsafe and it's not gonna net you a ton of damage. If you go for this, you can not only keep yourself kind of safe, I know Serena's little knife toss is punishable if blocked and there are ways to counter it, but it's tricky, so the risk reward is now in your favor. I even dropped that and I still got a lot of damage. Uh, the risk reward is now a little bit more in your favor and you can much better utilize your low, which normally would just go into this. And now you have a scary mix-up. This also allows her to be a little bit safer. You don't always have to commit to your um, full string, full launcher string. And that, just the damage. So I feel like Serena basically enhances everything Nitara does. It also fixes her issue of not having a projectile because you now have this knife toss, which is, I think, very underrated. You have this move, which is also very underrated. And like I said, everything this character does is just enhanced by Serena. So I actually really recommend her um, because it just really enhances her gameplay. Some other cameos like Sub-Zero can work but uh, it doesn't quite fix some of her issues like the lack of projectiles. Oh yeah, and one more weakness I forgot to mention, uh, but I think it's worth raising. Nitara is incredibly meter intensive. You will see like, you do a meterless combo with her and it's very, very unimpressive. Even with Serena, uh, you're not gonna be getting a lot. So if you want the big boy damage, you will need to spend meter all the time and because of that Nitara does have trouble with breakers that combined with her already low HP can make her again pretty weak defensively so do be careful of that and do think about whether that big combo is really worth spending the meter for and yeah that's basically how Nitara works I would say she's a fairly uh, uncomplicated character it's just go for your moves do a lot of damage and pray that the opponent doesn't know how to block you and doesn't combo you like two times before you can hit them and just completely destroy you. Cool. Now that we've gone over her, let's go ahead and take her online. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Um, this game really is just Baraka and Cyrex at this point. Uh, it's getting to the point where this is crazy. Like... I play this game, you know, obviously outside of YouTube as well, and this is all you see. Like, I'm nearly Grandmaster now, and this character team is everywhere. Every single person plays this. It's it's like Ken in Street Fighter 6. It's like you don't see anything else. Oh yeah, this is probably something I should have mentioned too that Nitara has like this weird thing where um, her combos are like very inconsistent in the corner. Maybe it's just me. 
it's very possible. Obviously, I'm not like a Natara expert. She's in my main. I'm just doing this for the YouTube video, but a lot of her moves do seem to... Not her moves, her move, the move, seems to miss in um, the corner, which is really weird for her. Um, there must be like something you have to like jump back or something. Oh my god. Oh my god, this... This team, you, do you guys know how tired I am? I think how tired everybody is of fighting this team. It's crazy. Like, I completely understand. Like, there's absolutely no reason not to play Baraka and Cyrex. Um, it is the easiest team to use and I swear I stood up there. Finally. Ah, of course the breaker. See? It keeps missing. I don't know why. I hate it. Drop my combo there too. I could have gotten a lot of damage there. Got him. This is going to be stressful because you can see how kind of like little room for error you have with her. Uh, it's like two Baraka combos and you're dead. Uh, and that's the thing that makes her, like I said, I think low tier. With how the meta of this game is, everything being super high damage and like 500 damage combos and all that, I think a low HP character is always going to struggle. My fucking god, you can't even zone him out. How crazy is that? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, breaker. I'm gonna try. I mean, it's not impossible. Yeah, it is. Because he has one of the best uppercuts. See, he just keeps missing. Why? Why does he keep missing? Maybe you need to jump back. What the hell was that? Bruh. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. The connection is awful. Or it's like breaking down. That was like a lag thing. It actually screwed him. God, this character. I'm gonna go for it. See, now it worked. It's like a very specific timing thing. I'm gonna get chipped out. He's gonna wake up, isn't he? Is that gonna kill him? That's not gonna kill him. He's gonna wake up. Damn it! Damn it. 
Waking up would have been too obvious. I admit that. Alright, alright. I should have... Oh, well, I couldn't have gone for my uh, buff. The draining aura, because it would have killed me. I don't know if you can kill your like self with it. Probably, you probably can. Why does this character also have good zoning? Please tell me. Oh my god. This is quite something to constantly deal with. Hmm. I'm just going for stuff at this point. He didn't know how to combo off the throw. That's when you get like a really dangerous Baraka Cyrax when they know how to combo off the, the throw. I jumped into the corner. I don't know what I was doing. This is like... This is the sort of disadvantage of like not actually maining a lot of these characters. You know, you like... Don't know a lot of the nuances which like an actual Nitara main would be aware of. It is why I'm talking about her poke game sucks like... I could have gone for more damage there. But now we can go for this. Motherfucker, seriously? <sighs> I'm guessing the... I don't know what the hell that was. Um, I'm guessing the freeze frame... Jesus, stops the... Oh my god, this is... <laughs> yeah, this is awful. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm hella dead. Yeah, it's just, this is just like the the strugglest of struggles. Um, a character that has 950 HP and one combo deals like 450. It's the biggest struggle. I don't know what the hell happened with that chip out. I, I, I should have had that game and then it all fell apart. Wrong thing. Come on, Serena. Don't screw with me. Finally. Nice. Oh, of course. Of course. Nice. Can I f just like finish one combo, please? Thank you. Thank you, game. Oh my god. There's no counter, to you just have to sit there and take it. Yeah, this is... this is...
awful. Just th this combo of characters is just just god awful. Um, it's it's like getting to the point where this is like seriously affecting this game, other than the shitty online, because uh, I would say like seventy percent of my games are against this. And I I mean I mean just look at this. It's like it's crazy. It's crazy. It's gotta be one of the worst, right? I mean, it's not as bad as like the really old games like MK9, Cabal, and Injustice had, I think, like Superman. But I think this is way worse than anything. Maybe not, maybe it's like on the level of Deadshot uh, in Injustice 2. All right, let's see who we have. Okay, is that, that smoke? Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, I think if I had to see, if I had to see another Baraka Cyrex combo, I probably would have lost my shit. Uh, but Smoke is okay. I actually do not mind fighting Smoke that much. So yeah, the Smoke episode will be interesting. I think once I get around to it. This, this is like a weird character. Because people have like this perception of him that is like really annoying to deal with. And that's true. But my question has always been, is he actually like a playable character? Because I don't see anybody using him. In terms of like, in like actual tournaments, I think he's just like a little bit gimmicky. Nice. God, her pokes suck. They're so bad. She has like no range on anything she does. I'm gonna go for it. Nice cancel. It's like the road to smoke big boy damage. I got 50 50 there. Oh my god. I should have broken that. can come back. I mean, it's like... It's only a couple of combos. Ah, uh, it always comes back. Ugh. This is why, you know, people... I think people are like majorly downplaying Serena nowadays. Like, people are saying she's like mid and there are better cameos. I agree there's better cameos, but... She's definitely not bad. Like... The fact that that knife stays out always, like sometimes even when you hit her, it's just crazy. He does like them up blocks, so... Gotta be mindful of that. That takes like a ton of time to recover from. So you gotta use that to your advantage. God, that, that one is so bad. Her pokes, man, are awful. That's okay, we have 50-50s. This is basically like the same character, except 
Smoke actually has HP going for him. I don't know what the hell happened with that interaction. You still got that? Damn. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, where, where is the breaker? Cool. GG. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this. Probably for these videos going forward, just looking at the length of some of the previous episodes, I think I'm only going to go for two matches. Um, this sort of first to five, or I mean, first to three format works. Uh, but I think having three plus the character breakdown is a little bit too much. It makes like 30 plus minute videos. And I don't want to, I mean, I like putting out longer videos, but you know, I think there is a balance there, a healthy balance. Does he not know what to do against that? Maybe not. Again, you do have this advantage of like not many people playing this character, so that's actually always an advantage. Or it's an advantage quite a lot of the time. God damn it. All right. Oh yeah, the corner carry. I keep like seeing the the other advantages she has on <laughs> playing her. She has good corner carry. But shitty corner combos because of the... I need to test her corner shit more a little bit because... Oh my god. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this. I've never once used Serena up to this point. Uh, even when the game first came out... I just never got around to actually using her. I think that should be it. Cool. That could have been it. I just dropped the combo. Alright, we got this, we got this. Just got a 50-50 this guy. That's the thing about Smoke, like, I think he's very one-dimensional. Uh, that's his main, one of his main disadvantages. Um, so is this character, Natara, but I think Smoke even more so. He's kind of just like... A little bit one note, but again, we'll get around to him. We'll see what he can do. I cannot believe that hit me. And that allowed him to switch sides. I respect the hustle, but you gotta go into the corner now. He's gonna wake up. These are like some fully intentional resets, as you guys can probably tell. I should probably go for an armored move. You know what? Um, 
that armored move is so bad. It just has like zero range on it. Hmm. Pretty sure I stood up, but all right, game, you do you. Jesus fucking hell. <laughs> Yeah, this type of stuff can really kill Natara. Um, I can do big boy damage too. Nice. Ah. Shit. Nice. What I meant to do, I didn't think he was gonna go for Serena Knives. I was gonna go for the super, which is like, it's basically a full screen overhead. I'm, I'm screwed. What the? God, the pokes. I can't deal with these pokes, man. They're so bad. Tried a sneaky jump, didn't you? What's the chance he wakes up with Serena knives? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, meter. Thank you. Serena. Serena, thank you. Chip him. Was that the third game? I think it was. GG's. That was good. Getting some palace for her, which is good, because the one I have is pretty bad. It's her default. It's not the best, I think. Oh, I deranked him. Sorry about that. Cool. GG's. All right, and with that ends our little adventure with Natara. I think I kind of like her. Maybe I'll play her a little bit more. You kind of see what her game plan is. It's actually very simple. It's like, go for a low, go for an overhead and do big damage. Uh, she's definitely one of the simpler characters, I think. She has some complexity with the air mobility, but that's about it. Uh, most of her like actual down-to-earth game plan is very simple. And as you saw, she does have some weaknesses. Uh, she has some trouble pressuring the opponent, and if the opponent is like good at blocking, like I said, if you're not online, that overhead is fully reactable and it leads to big punishes. So yeah, you do have that countered by the fact that you get one hit and you do massive damage. But then you have characters like Baraka and Cyrax who can do even more damage, even safer with even less effort. So yeah, she does struggle. She is a struggle character. Um, I think it's just, the main thing is that the top tiers currently in this game are just like so, so up there that it's just difficult to compete with them. There is. When you think about it, very few reasons not to pick a team like Baraka and Cyrax. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this little Natara breakdown slash online matches. If you did, like, comment, subscribe as usual. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out.